Top Gun Math. This is our first live event. We are so excited to share it with you guys, with everyone here. Um, if ever, can everyone hear me decently? Yeah. Okay. Yes. We are we are competing with table or the, uh, the Magic. Magic the Gathering event. And they are very excited. Um, so we're not sure how. Yeah. 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 Uh, so if you can't hear, please feel free to scoot in. We're gonna do our best to project, but you know, come close. It is a ceremonial campfire type storytelling event, so come close to the work. Uh, great, so uh, this is produced by uh, Twice Rolled Tales, um, which is a production company Phoebe and I and our absent uh, third member, member Emily runs. Uh, you can purchase actual copies of the module book to play. Uh, it is really great for anyone who is either a long time tabletop person trying to get your friends who have not played before to play with you. It's really like meet in the middle, it's kind of a cool idea. Um, also, any proceeds from tickets and stuff are going to support uh, the store, and we're going to do like a hangout afterwards till about 7 ish, and then after that, we're going to go to the Lucky Dog. Um, hang out there for a bit longer if you have any stragglers, support the store, buy the stuff, hang out some more. Uh, great. Uh, so I am Linny. I'm going to be uh, GMing for today. Everyone else wants to introduce themselves? Yeah. Um, hi, my name is uh, Sarah Mixday. Uh, they, them. I am a actor and producer on um, Mage Hand High Five. We are a brand new RPG podcast. Um, right now we're doing like this gritty fantasy Western called The Badlands um, using D&D 5e. Um, and... Yeah, we're pretty new. So if you like Westerns, if you like RPGs, find us where you get your podcasts. Um, I've got like a little QR code thing if we want to talk after. But yeah, I'm in, in Mage Hand High Five. Uh, I'm Jasmine. She, her, I am an actor. I do a lot of stuff in the immersive space. And I play a lot of video games and tabletops with my friends. And I'm just excited to be here. Uh, I'm Elliot, he, him. Uh, I work with Many Sided Media, a company who makes My First Dungeon, which is a tabletop role-playing podcast. You can get it wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, I'm also a game designer. You can get a couple of my games over at the store, Something's Wrong with the Chickens and Abominations, as well as my newest game, Project Echo, which isn't in the store yet, but probably will be in the near future. Yeah. Um, I'm Carson, uh, he, him. I am co- Creator of Please Don't Kill Us. Um, the other one's over there. Jack is the other co-creator, um, which is an interactive uh, tabletop live stream on YouTube where the audience decides what happens in real time. That's yeah. That's me. Everyone's social media handles and stuff can be found on the back of the program, uh, so be sure to check them out because all their stuff is legitimately incredibly awesome. Uh, all right, so how this is gonna work? Um, like a certain unnamed for copyright reasons game you may be familiar with, mm -hmm. we have an adventure sheet. <laughs> We're gonna fill this out. It's gonna tell us what's gonna be happening because we don't know. That's that's the point. Um, on your program sheets, that everyone may have grabbed one, we gave some prompt ideas. Uh, so if you have not filled those out, scribble away, but we're going to be, you know, going through this and shouting out, please shout out suggestions, uh, make our lives hard, but not too hard. Sound good? <laughs> After we do that, we're going to follow some character sheets and uh, get to it. Um, I love audience participation, be kind, but feel free to shout out. Uh, they certainly are going to shout out stuff, so but don't be shy. <laughs> All right, we're going to be playing The Monster Bounty. What is it about? Let's find out. I need an adjective. Bouncy. Bouncy. Incredible. How about a noun? Oh, I have a pool. A pool? A pool. How about... Oh, yes. Adjective. Chocolatey. Chocolate. Mm. Yeah. See how that goes. Uh, yeah, correct. <laughs> how about another noun? Sidecar. Side Sidecar. <laughs> Is that the drink or the, no. uh, the or the sidecar? Yeah. I, I was thinking like the side, like the motorcycle sidecar. Great. Uh, okay. Uh, what about an animal? Bat. Bat. Oh god. Um, so great. Okay, it's gonna be a fruit bat. <laughs> bat parentheses fruit. Great. Uh, body part plural. Teeth. Teeth. 
Yeah. So we're gonna find out. So everyone gets to fill out their character sheets, which they have not seen beforehand. Choose at random. Um, they're all different, so there's no wrong choices. That's fun. All right. <laughs> all right. I'm uh, coming out. Okay. So I don't want to fill it myself. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the way I might shout out for help. <laughs> um. Oh wait, so our job yeah. is at uh, the funeral parlor. Yeah, so to me this feels like, like you guys are all workers at the funeral parlor. Controlling hairs. Yeah, hairs. Yeah. Okay. Carrying yeah. bodies, that sort of thing. Sure, sure, sure. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I feel like that. <laughs> all right, I might have to get some more. Yeah, yeah. yeah, go for it. Give me a job. Job? A job. All right. Snapping digits back in place. Snapping digits? Like an Back in place. The fingers, whenever they come into the funeral parlor and they're all messed up. Oh, like any job. No, any job. Any job. Any occupation. Chimney sweep. Chimney sweep. Love it. Not again. Is that it? Not again? No, no, no. I love chimney sweeps. Look at all the rooms. Adjective. Deep Stranger? Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Uh, uh, 
You guys got a plural noun for me? Plural noun? Plural noun. Oh my god. Forceps. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, I'm looking for body parts. I got a body part. Brian. Brian. That's good. Give me a plural noun. That's good. No. Okay. Spots. Spots. Weather event. Sorry, I'm on are we, should we throw out the character name beforehand? Yes, let's okay. know your name. Okay. You can also let them name you. Tammy. Nice. Tammy. Tammy. See, my personal preference is Jimmy. Yeah. I'm gonna go for Skeeter. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I don't even know how to play. <laughs> <laughs> I need um. Okay, I didn't write down anything about this. Okay, so cool. Okay, it's all coming together. <laughs> cool hollows. Oh no. Oh no. We volunteer at the funeral parlor doing hairstyling. <laughs> Did were you also a hairstylist? No, I just the, the hairs, the controlling oh, the hairs, the control. <laughs> yes, okay, controlling hairs. They gave me a fashion design, like the, the fashion designer of the like you style the style the clothes and like that outfits. Yeah. Um, you gave me lunch. <laughs> um, what am I with that? I think I'm not sure I'm still go with duplicitousness. What? Can you help me with anything else? Uh, no. Any remaining words? <laughs> I I it, yeah. I'm just yeah. getting off these modifiers, right? Yeah. We can place these anywhere. Place these anywhere. Okay. These are, uh, it's just an index of like kind of the standard modifiers you get for D5E. Cool. For what? For 5E. Uh, yeah. 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 like you said it. You said the copyrighted game. What? So I have it on no. mic. You said the copyrighted game. But the rules are in the common domain. It's all common. I know. I'm just messing with you because you said because you didn't say the it before. Unnamed. Oh, was it the, no. You said the no. unnamed. That's game. not the unnamed game. Oh, oh, that's not the unnamed. No, no, no. We're yeah. we're quite clear what we can use from Wizards of the Coast. Oh, I know uh, the unnamed yeah. game. Is. Yes. We're quite the clear. <laughs> 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 we can use the whole thing. I don't yeah. even remember. Yeah, I got it. Got it. Oh, yes. Liz, yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, okay. You were ad libbing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, as we've learned, you cannot copyright the rules to a game. Yes. So, like, I don't you can copyright names, titles, so. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> Alright, is everyone feeling worded? Half bad. Feeling worded. It's supremely worded. Half sidecar. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a, what's the word? Nightmare. <laughs> now, Yes. Who would you classify as player three uh, at this table? Uh, Elliot. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. One, two, three, four. <laughs> what should my character's name be? Uh, your character's name? Yep. Um, yes. Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. Uh, same question for <laughs> anyone. <laughs> Jeffrey. Jeff Je Jeffrey? Okay. Uh, um, thank you so much. Great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can you hand me back the extra character sheets? Oh, wait. Is that on? Oh, probably not. Yes. Thank you. They, they say Claire notes right in front of you. No, no, no. Incredible. All right. Everyone feeling good? Yeah. Feeling good. Numbers I just have to out? do. Oh, I All right. my numbers. All right. We have but... filled them out. Uh, so just a brief what's going on here so you guys know. We've got uh, six ability characteristics. You may be familiar with these if you've Sorry. ever played any uh, D20 games. Very simple. Uh, everything is based off of these, so it is just a flat roll for that with these modifiers attached. Um, that's not clear, it will become rapidly clear, I promise. Uh, and then each one has a similar fill-in-the-blank character story, and we're going to hear those now. Sarah, who is your character? Hello, uh, my name is uh, Jeffrey Picklebottom. <laughs> I am the funeral fashion, the funeral fashion designer. 
um, at the funeral home. So I just make sure that everybody's well dressed and all prepped to, you know, go into their little dirt nap. Um, this is exactly what I am trained for. You may not know, uh, I'm, excuse me, I may not know anything about sconces and I don't know anything about sconces, but I will do anything to acquire more bees for my hobby beekeeping operation. <laughs> I am best known for my prickly duplicitousness. Yep. <laughs> uh, Jasmine? Uh, I'm Wilhelmina. As an ice cream artist who recently moved to the area, situations like these are exactly what my half cousin Austin, who lives in Austin, always <laughs> warned me about. You're really, I'm really regretting not becoming a wheat farmer now. Uh, I'm always willing to settle disagreements over a quick card game of canasta. Ooh, all right. Sorry, what is canasta? I don't know, but I'm good at it. <laughs> <laughs> um, my name's Skeeter. Yeah, it is. As a chimney sweep on the outskirts of town, I usually stay out of situations like this. I am the beautifulest person in the group, of course, <laughs> and I know everything about forceps. If anyone needs spots, you know, I know just where to get them. So, <laughs> did you say forceps? Forceps. <laughs> like, what is that? Uh, forcep is a clamp that they use to either remove things, but commonly like put around a baby's head. Oh, like oh, teeth. Oh, oh, or hold people open. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Good. Damn. I know about them. And you know everything about them. Everything about them. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well. uh, my name's Tammy. Uh, as a beautician, you don't think this is really in the job description. Uh, me and Skeeta share a deep abiding lust toward one another. <laughs> and I have a medical condition affecting my toenail, which always acts up during a monsoon. Beautician. <laughs> yeah. So makeup, makeup for the dead bodies, you yeah. know, yeah. works. <laughs> That'll look good on the big day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You gotta keep them looking nice, you know? <laughs> it's beauty sleep, you know, just the permanent variety. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, Alright. Guys feel ready? Know who you are? Any yeah. questions? Any questions? <laughs> Yeah, all right, awesome. Uh, it is a gray day, a gray, not yet rainy, but maybe promising uh, some torrential downpour in the future. Uh, you guys can see a strip mall, a lot of like, you know, uh, you know, uh, like Panda One, uh, there's a fried chicken place, uh, and then there is Bob's Funeral Parlor. You stab him, you slab him, in very, very <laughs> tiny letters underneath uh, the title. Um, Sarah, uh, uh, Jeff, Jeffrey, Jeff, Jeffrey, Jeff. All right, Jeffrey. Uh, let's see. Jeffrey um, and Tammy, you're inside the funeral parlor. Uh, the funeral director has sent you a very urgent text message saying that you have to meet them uh, there immediately. Uh, this is Bob, uh, not Bob of Bob's funeral parlor. Uh, he just bought it when he moved to the community because he thought. Well, he's already named Bob, can immediately be part of the, the community. Um, he's not very good at being a funeral director, um, but he's trying. And, and in times of grief, that's really kind of all people want. Of course. Uh, so you, Jeffrey and Tammy, you're there. You're not quite sure what's going on. Um, Skeeter, this has been maybe not the day mm. to decide to, to come into town to clean uh, chimneys. But you're here. I'm uh, here. You know that with the rain coming in, you've got a limited window uh, to get things cleaned. Uh, this is a one of those like refurbished strip malls where they take like, existing nice buildings and sort of put a facade on top of them. So there are a few that still have the original brickwork chimneys. So you're working on them. Uh, and then, Wilhelmina, you are at a... Uh, you pulled up your little ice cream cart and you're outside. Uh, you're not sure why, but there's something about grief and ice cream that just really go together. Um, and maybe it's, it's comfort a, food. It's a bit macabre, but like you are doing numbers. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, you guys have all heard on the radio uh, and, and and online like things about people disappearing. The town's inches from putting out a curfew, and uh, no one knows what's going on. Um, there've been several. 
grisly reports on the news of people just fully missing their teeth. Um, you don't know that the news should show someone with a fully distended jawbone trying to explain what happened. Mm -hmm. That feels exploited, but it was there. It happened. So something is certainly afoot. Um, and as you walk, you know, as uh, Tammy and Jeffrey are sitting there, funeral director comes in, um, he's dressed in, with his suit on, he's clearly put it on very, very quickly, comes and says, so folks, we've got a, got a problem today, and uh, you guys are my best employees, so, uh... Hey, yeah, Bobby Boy, what's up? Hey! What's going on? Uh, so... Now, I'm sure you've never encountered this. What? what I've up? encountered a lot of things, Bobby. <laughs> Is Tammy gonna have to put lipstick on somebody with a distended jaw again? Oh, not again. <laughs> well, so yes, secondary problem. Though. Okay. Okay. Like if you guys, that's not quite. But it's good to know you're down for that. I will. I will. I'll call them and tell them we will accept this job. All right. Um. So what I learned moving here, accepting funeral director position, is that sometimes people assume things about people who work in funeral homes. Mm. Um. And that is to say. We are inches from being investigated for being missing teeth burglars. Uh, they think, well, suspicion has turned upon us because let's just say they dug up a few of the bodies and that we had put in the ground and that they were also missing teeth. Um, and I pointed out anyone could have done that. Like maybe someone's around and like started out with dead bodies and then that wasn't fresh enough for them. So they wanted to get some fresh teeth. Uh, well, you know, it couldn't have been any of us who did it. I think it might have been Tammy. I need you to know, understand that it might have been Tammy. But I don't think it would have been any of us. What am I supposed to do with that information? Well, I don't know. I just look into, just look into Tammy. <laughs> just because I'm missing some teeth, okay? Uh, it doesn't put me up for suspicion here, okay? How many people are missing teeth? I didn't know you could hear me. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Now, so what do you think is doing this? You're saying that... In, in the place that the teeth are being taken out, or, or when, once they're buried, someone's going into the graves, getting the teeth? Well, someone was going into the graves, getting the teeth, and now, now someone is attacking people in the streets and taking their teeth. Oh my god. No, can you? So the point is, suspicion has fallen upon us. Uh, can you give me a dexterity roll? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not great at that. Uh, that's a nine. Uh, great. So, uh, it has started to gently mist, um, and as you're up there cleaning the chimneys, your feet slip, mm. and you roll and slide down in kind of yeah. an uncharacteristic... You think as a chimney sweep, you sort of have gotten a handle on this? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you would think. It's, it's, it's just not your day. It's no. not Skeeter's day. Uh, so you roll out in a cloud at the feet as this conversation is happening, and you've probably overheard at least some of it, but... Yeah. Yeah, you kind of you stand on things unless they're not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Better let be like, uh, oh, Jimmy's done. <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> it's pretty, pretty much done. Well, it seems like we've caught our burglar. Hi, Tim. Have you? Oh, well, I know you. I know you. You're the, you're the sweeper. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I've been keeping a keen eye on you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the. No, I think just let him have this. I think Tammy's been seeing Skeeter for a little bit. It's kind of under the table right now, though, but I've kind of been telling everybody. <laughs> Can we hear that? Uh, yeah. Can I roll it? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> roll deception. Give me a wisdom. <laughs> That's a nine. Um, also, Skeeter has one perfect teeth. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you absolutely, you, you hear all of this. Skeeter's got suspiciously perfect teeth. It's almost like he's been taking them from somebody else. Jeffy! Don't! What? Not right now. Not while Skeeter's here. Now, Skeeter. Yes. We're gonna need your help. You got a chimney in me, Skeeter? No, something worse. Something worse. <laughs> teeth. Teeth have been taken. Oh, is this like the hair again? Yes, it's like the hair. People taking hair, people oh, taking teeth. Oh, God. And this time it's falling on Bobby Boy. Bobby, you've been taking people's teeth? People keep suing that, yeah, and I would like them to stop. And. And you, you know what? Uh, you have heard too much. You have to help us now. That's how this works. According to the laws of narrative convenience. Oh, well, you are implicated. I have been recording this this whole time. So. Is Tammy helping? Yes. Uh, yeah, are you can. Yeah, I'll help. It's, it's, <laughs> it's in the job description. <laughs> Good. Uh, uh, Wilhelmina, you're, you also at this point can like see and hear all of this. Okay. But what's your vibe? Are you hanging back? What's the? 
Uh, if I can hear them, I'm gonna let myself in. Uh, howdy, everyone. Uh, you know, I, I heard some yelling outside, and I was wondering if uh, I could get you a little ice cream. That usually makes things things better. Okay. Oh, it's bad for the teeth. I don't know. You know what? So, you're really interested. Yeah, I would love outside. some ice cream. Thank you so oh, much. You can, um, can I roll an insight check on your teeth to see what they're yeah. <laughs> what they're like? Uh, that's a fifteen. Uh, yeah. Fairly average teeth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Suspicious. <laughs> uh, Bobby says, I mean, we need a, uh, as long as the ice cream's gonna be okay, because honestly, I feel like some people come here because there's ice cream, not because someone they knew died. Um, well, I've got my ice cream ready to go if you need any, and, uh, well, do you need help with something else? I, I can go back out there. I mean, it's raining. It's not a great day for ice cream. Great. So, Here's what I know. There is a creature, uh, and I have contacted my sources in the local police department because <clears throat> mortician there owes me a couple of favors. We take on the difficult cases, um, like the jawbone that's coming our right, way. Right, okay. Uh, Job it's him? not attached anymore. Oh no. Oh, yeah. This is terrible. It's Good luck with fine. the makeup work, Tammy. Yeah, it's okay. Maybe I'll just paint one on like a piece of paper. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that'll look great. Yeah. That's a great idea. Now, you're saying creature? Like, what type of creature are we talking about? Are we talking about like a, I don't know, like a, like a Sasquatch? Like the Tooth Fairy? Oh my god. Tooth Fairy? Yeah. Back home, we had this thing called the Jackalope. Is it something like that? Well, you know, it might be one of those jackals. It's shiny. So it's something shiny. Um, shiny. It flies. Okay. And uh, people wake up missing their teeth if so they wake up at all. I think you're talking about Spirit Airlines. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good guess. I love the initiative. My cousin woke up without two molars. He That's booked a flight for $20. He woke up in upstate New York with no teeth. Yeah, they charge you. Yeah. Sounds like Spirit Airlines. It's like true. You can Irish. give them two of your teeth for extra extra, my, uh, extra leg room. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. So, maybe. But it's not bad. <laughs> I mean. No, it's a creature. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm not sure how it's going to look on the, the local news if I say uh, Spirit Airlines did it. Even if it's true. Mm. Even if, and it could be true. We agree. We agree it could be true. I mean, we all think Make it's it cute, but, but we, we could, we, they would bury us in paperwork, and we've got to find someone else to blame. That's, that, and, and, Oh, we're just picking someone else to blame. Yeah, we're not, we don't we're not fighting the beast. Are we finding, we, we should fight the beast, but if it's Spirit Airlines, we got to find somebody else. Okay, but hear me out. If we find a scapegoat, it actually becomes not our problem anymore. Yeah. Do you have well, any nemesis? Well, shame no less dose, right? We can, we can find someone to blame and. Like, we could find a tooth snatching monster, or we could find someone to blame. But if the, <laughs> If the monster keeps snatching tooths, right. mm. then we're double in trouble. Well, you, you know, that's fair. Like, sure, if, sure, our, sure, if sure. our escape goat gets in trouble and then all of a sudden the blame shifts back. Wait, so there's sense. a goat that's taken teeth. So there's... Oh, it's a goat. It's a goat? It's a goat. It's, a goat. it's definitely a goat. It's that a makes goat. a lot of sense. I thought it was... Skeeter, I gotta be honest, I thought it was you for a second. Mm -hmm. With these? Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. I've had these my whole life. <laughs> sure you have. They're attacked. You wanna try pulling on one? No, I'm okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, hold on. All right, Tammy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> does it, how does it feel? It feels kind of nice. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. I blush. <laughs> Do I anyway. need to worry about you? No. Great. No, no, cool. No, no, no. I, I'm not going to then, because no. frankly... It's just a little thing we do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great. So, okay. So where should that. we start, do you think? Well... So it flies, but the last time people saw it was around the local uh, cryptocurrency startup. Uh, I'm not right. sure it's still open. They kind of just every month it's a new coin in the window, and right. they're sometimes open or sometimes not. It's honestly complete gambling. Right, dog coin, cat coin. Yeah, complete gambling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so we saw them last. But the important thing is only strikes at midnight. So for the next like 12 hours, we're sort of safe. Mm. We've got. Everything in this supply closet that we can use. Um, as far as I know, the the, the, you know, the mayor and police they kind of spoke to me and said sort of handle it in house, um, which I took to mean they think we're responsible and I should just deal with it. But but I think we should find the person really responsible and clear mm. our name yeah. to be clear. Person yeah. or go. 
right? Yes. Right. It could right. be a goat. Or the Tooth Fairy. Yeah. Or the Tooth Fairy. Right. Or the Or Spirit Islands. Or Spirit Islands or the Tooth Fairy. It for is sure. one of those four things for sure. Now, Bobby, I just want to make sure when you say that we. That we are not responsible. Do they think you are responsible? No. Of or do they think not. we are responsible? Why would you ever think? I feel like my name I probably would. didn't come up. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Clearly not Skeeter and, and ice cream ice cream girl. What's your What's your name? Oh, uh, I'm Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. Yeah. Yeah, Tammy. Tammy. Tammy, I'm a mutation here. Now. So, so we're not gonna be me and Jeffy. Yeah, we're not gonna be. We're not really on the hook here, right? Yeah. They don't know who did it, so they definitely don't think it's just me, for sure. So it could be one of you. So you're taking us down with you, is what I'm understanding. This is a shakedown. <laughs> it's a shakedown. It gets by laying out our options. All right, Bobby. Let me let me ask you a question. Uh, that little supply closet of yours? Yes. What kind of forceps we got in there? <laughs> What model? Uh, models of goes and looks at the forceps. He's like, well, uh, do you want it rusty or not rusty? <laughs> That's kind of the, my limit of my understanding. Let me just let me just get in there. Yeah. Be my guess. You like both ways. Yeah. Have a side forceps. That sounds like something a teeth stealer would say. Oh my gosh, you're so right. Oh, I don't. I did. You know what? I didn't even clock that. I'm gonna put that in your notes. I'm gonna put that. Yep. 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 So forceps and supply closet. Teeth. It's got. You know, basically all the mortician backup supplies you'd need. So I have like scalpel, a lot of actual medical equipment, um, but without a lot of like the sterilization that you necessarily go for uh, in, a, in a clinical setting. Um, but then you also see a lot of stuff that's like for holding funerals. So like boom boxes, music equipment, a lot of like extension cords, a lot of, you know, hand fans, that sort of thing. Mm. Extension cords and um, I'd like to try and find some quality forceps. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna quietly... If you'd allow. Yeah, give, give me an intelligence check. It's a 12. 12. Um, I'm gonna say there's just, it's a big box of forceps. Yeah, sure, sure Like, sure. there's just... They just kind of clearly take whatever's in the top and go for it. This is not clear medical procedure. <laughs> like, morticians don't do this. They've no. got ethical standards and all that. Um, not Bobby, though. No, Bobby's right. chill. He's unique. Uh, He's unique. Uh, so I'm going to say you find some, like, reasonable corsets. Reasonable. So they're not All rusty. Right. They're right. like, they'll do the trick. I'll take them, but I also brought my own, so. <laughs> Can I look in there and see if there's any small to medium-sized uh, kitchen appliances? What are you thinking of specifically? I don't know. I'm just really into kitchen appliances. I'm looking for things for the ice cream shop, but maybe also things that can take out a monster. <laughs> All right, uh, give me a luck check for um, deadliness of kitchen equipment. Mm. What's the luck under? Oh, not 20! Yeah! Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> there it is. Refrigerator made of knives. <laughs> <laughs> Super lightweight. Uh, 10 pound uh, refrigerator made of knives. <laughs> you see a little, um, like, a box that looks like a, a catering company kind of set and forgot it. You see a bunch of very sharp chef's knives. Chef's knives, great. Um, you see a flambe torch. Mm. Um, oh. You see an immersion blender. Um, oh, that? Ooh, immersion blenders. <laughs> That's great. Um, oh, you see a mandolin, but like an, an electric one. Ooh! Uh, so it's, it's very flat, but like sharp. Um, any other really deadly kitchen weapons we That's can think a, of? That's an excellent assortment. <laughs> yeah, That's pretty grater. good. Grater? Yeah, like a, a big, big cheese grater. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's a good box of dangerous items you got there. Yeah. Uh, Today's my luck of day. Yeah, yes. look at that. I'm going to look around for one single bee. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a wisdom check of 15 to find a bee. Okay. I mean, we've got a, I've got a beekeeping hobby back home, so I'm just kind of trying yeah, to kill two yeah. birds, you know, something real poisonous. Wisdom? Yeah. 16. 16. Uh, yeah. So you see what you think at first is a massive horse fly, mm. uh, but it actually is, is a small carpenter bee. Oh, uh, perfect. They've been nesting in the eaves, and uh, Bob has not really dealt with them. Perfect. This is my weapon of choice. <laughs> and I'm going to get a little jar and just get the bee, and that will be my weapon. Do you want more than one bee? Can I find more than one bee? I mean, they're, they're carpenter bees. They have a kind of colony. Oh yeah, I'm gonna just gonna catch the whole. I'm gonna put the whole like the whole nest and just and pop yeah, them in a little. Yeah, yeah. You get like 
20 or so carpenter Perfect. Bees. I got a little jar of bees. Oh, <laughs> Great. That'll come in handy. That would be amazing. Yeah. Make those cage <laughs> style the bees. You know what I mean? I think we could just kind of shut somebody in with one of these. Yeah, and yeah. Really yeah. Go. yeah. Solid, you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, or Jeffrey, you know, whatever. Yeah, right. Tammy, would you like a pair of four What's your name? Yeah, I love a pair of four All right. <laughs> oh, oh, these are... Yeah, this is a 2019 model, but okay. it's the best they've made. Wow, thank yeah, you. I mean, I'm flattered, yeah. obviously. Maybe I can put some makeup on here and yeah, just add yeah, yeah. to personalize it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you, Skeeter. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm gonna sort of look out, you said it was misty, yeah. right? I'm just gonna sort of look out the windows and check out what, I'm getting a rumbling feeling that maybe there's a natural weather, a freak weather occurrence, maybe a monsoon on the way. Yeah, yeah, you look out, I mean, you know this area is not frequently prone to monsoons, yeah. um, but sometimes the winds and the weather blow in and you don't get like a week or so of really heavy rain. Yeah. Uh, how long would you say you've been living here? Uh, I've been living here my whole life. Yeah, uh, four to five years. Yeah, so you, yeah. you can you can feel it in your toenail. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not sort of hurting yet. But there's like a slight buzzing. Right, just a gentle. I take off my my sandal and I and I really look at my long. It's very long. <laughs> Skeeter <laughs> faints. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I just sort of steady myself for what might might be coming. Are you looking for anything in particular, or just well, I'm just ready. Yeah, I'm just sort of vibing whether there's monsoon coming, but uh, it's you think there's a reasonable chance that one is coming. Okay. Yeah. You okay. Sort of like stick your toe out, the wind blows <laughs> through the toenail. Right. It's about the vibration. Yeah. The nail. It's just there's the certain pitch. It's my ear. When the, the humidity hits right, when the wind hits right. Yeah. So frequency cool. develops, yeah. Something's coming, Skeeter. I can feel it. You feel it in your thumb? I feel it in the nail. Yeah. May I? Of course, yes. <laughs> you feel it? Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 I'm getting that. Monsoon. 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 Yeah, yeah. Monsoon. Tammy, have you seen a doctor about that? <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, I'm, I'm a beautician. I, I went to medical school. Right. Uh, I'm like... A, yeah, well, let's not talk about it. Okay, okay. yeah, so I'm a fashion designer and I used to meet rocket scientists. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, where are we going? We're going to the doggy coin? You could ask your toenail. Yeah, true. Mm, maybe, we monsoon, maybe we need a boat. Mm. Might the boat. boat can take us there. We might need a little boat. Do you know where we can get a small boat? Uh, Bob looks at you, looks at you like several times, and then looks at the coffin. <gasps> You know, that's a small boat. <laughs> You're not right. Yeah, it's what it, it'll that'll float. Bo okay. Do you think we can take it? The monster doesn't hit yet. I mean, like, I just take whoever's in it out and just gently put <laughs> yeah. them <laughs> to the side. Well, okay. well, you know, but this one looks like a little more buoyant. He won't mind. Does that person have teeth? Do you is that you opening your, their mouth? Yes. Okay. It's, it's deeply distended. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to tell. They, they're they missing their teeth, but it doesn't look like they've been violently extracted. Huh. On, the, on the like older granny side. Okay. So you're like, okay. dentures, violent teeth monster, dentures, violent teeth monster. It could be both. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. valid. Okay, well, I just take the little coffin. Okay, well, we're ready to go. Is all that right. going to be Actually, can somebody, all of us? I think so. Can someone help me just lift this up onto the... Oh, okay. thank you so much. Yeah. We put it on top of, like, our little Prius or whatever we're trying to do. <laughs> right. so you oh, guys yeah, I can take my, my Prius ice cream car. Yeah. Oh, you want to take your ice cream car? Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, we can just oh, put it on top of the ice cream, cream. cream. Yeah, we'll have some ice cream on the ride over. Yeah. So we strap the coffin to the ice cream cart. Okay. Well, I mean, let me ask you something. Uh, Teethless population, is that good for business or bad for business? Oh, actually, you know what they say about uh, you get your tonsils removed and yeah. then you uh, you only have ice cream? I figure it's a similar thing with the teeth, so I'm not super mad. <laughs> <laughs> you should write that down. That's a, That's a good, yeah, okay, uh, interesting. That is, a, that is sort yeah. of a, a motive, that I guess. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Uh, right, so you guys have a coffin strapped to Wilhelmina's ice cream truck. Sure do. Uh, and, you, and you guys head off toward the cryptocurrency store? Yeah, I think I'm paddling us with my big uh, chimney Q-tip, giant Q-tip. Brush. <laughs> brush. <laughs> brush. <laughs> it's big. Shovel. Yeah. Shovel. Yeah. Is there enough water to justify a paddle right now? It's not, it, there's, no, there's 
no oh, I'm just getting us moving. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just the wheels. Just the wheels. Just, <laughs> we're sitting. I, unless the cart's in got the an engine. In on top oh, of no, the cart. We're yeah. just pushing yeah. around the top. Do you have like a little song you could sing or something? It's like a little gondola situation. Uh, <laughs> Bob waves row, you and says, row, row, all right, I'll, I'll meet you guys there at midnight. Uh, okay. Oh, you're Bob. Okay, Bob. You're, you're, not, you're not coming? I'll be there at midnight. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Bobby. He's Bobby. always doing paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. He never joins us on the real no. stuff. <laughs> the same thing with the hair situation. It's exactly. He has us do the hair. It's crazy. I don't well, know. Maybe it's because Bobby is up to something else. You know what I mean? I think Bobby's taking the teeth. I think Bobby might be taking the teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could always just turn on Bobby. What are you going to do with all those teeth? Well, he's got to put them in the bodies. When you get like old grannies, they don't have their teeth. You got to make them look pretty. Oh, that's true. The one we took out of that coffin needed one. There is like jars of teeth in the cabinet. Yeah. But okay. those have been there for years, but Doing it just seems. Side yeah, business. Most. Oh, shoot. If there was a jar of teeth in the supply closet, we probably should have grabbed it on the way to get the teeth snatching <laughs> oh, monster. Oh, some bait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to go back and get the jar of teeth <laughs> from the supply closet and just bring it so we have it. <laughs> you see Bob like having a full panic attack just like underneath his desk. Oh, Bob. Howdy. Looking suspicious there, bud. No, not suspicious. I'm just here to grab the jar of teeth. Okay. Take it and leave. All right, that's fine. I'm fine with this. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. Thanks, darling. Jeffrey, you're going to want to keep that wrapped up in case any uh, <laughs> local BD, you don't want them to see that. Oh, you're so right. Do you want to hold on to it? Please be Oh, yeah, careful. I'll put it in my chimney sink yeah, bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want you to mix it up in with the sprinkles or nothing. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't want to bite into one of those. <laughs> um. Are you guys saying anything to anyone? Because you're like driving through Main Street right now. There's We're singing Row, 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 row Your Boat. Yeah. 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 This is Row, 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 row Your Boat. Cool. Yeah. Row, 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 <laughs> Wait, what is our town called? Pool Hollows. Pool, pool Hollows. Hollows. Okay. Hollows. Okay, got it. Interesting. Real return to form, I guess. Are people out and about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, you know, it's probably like six or seven at night on mm. like a Tuesday or something. So sure. People like getting dinner, stuff is starting to close down, but yeah, there's people walking the streets. Oh, shoot, it's primetime ice cream selling. I know. Time. If anyone stops us, I'll give them some ice cream. <laughs> so yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, you can see like two two small children um, with their mom who's like pushing a third child in a stroller. They run up to you and they're like, okay, I'm like, whoa. Can we have ice cream? Stop mommy, it. mommy, can we have ice cream? Okay, what kind of flavor are you looking for, darling? Ooh. One vanilla for the little kid, okay. So their mom comes up and they're like, hi, Wilhelmina, what? What's going on here? Usually, uh, usually we just come by when we come to visit Grandpa. Oh, well, we're going on a little monster hunting expedition, but you can have some ice cream on the way. Skeeter reaches over with cone in a forcep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just automatically takes it, just like... Oh, well, that's always looking after the town. Yeah, I'll see you at the picnic next weekend, okay? Uh, yes, okay. It's fine. Got, got the answer. Do you want it? Yeah, come on, let's go. Let's go. Skier, you should give him some of the special sprinkles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Were these the teeth? Did you put teeth in the ice cream? <laughs> it's, the there's a non-zero chance okay. that I put teeth in the ice cream. We should keep moving. Yeah, we should definitely roll fast. <laughs> this is a lawsuit. Uh, you hear a really surprised howl from behind you, but you can't tell if it's teeth in ice cream or ice cream on ground. Mm. Mm. No. I hope it's ice cream on ground. <laughs> I hope it's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. I'm sorry. But just, <laughs> can you imagine? Uh, okay, and get to the crypto place. <laughs> oh yeah, we can go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. So you get to the kind of the very end of Main Street. So it's like this crypto place. Its address is Main Street. But it's, it's really like a block over and another street over, and like technically the building's there. But Main Street was not excited that they were showing up. How long does it take us by this method of travel? <laughs> <laughs> like at least 45 minutes. Perfect. Much longer than walking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We could have walked. Yeah. <laughs> A uh, skeeter is exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> just sparks off the back of the ice cream truck. <laughs> Soot, sweat. Soot, sweat. Oh, yeah, the worst. Mixing the mist. Mm -hmm. real just real tears real. pouring down his face. <laughs> Little Mina's going to pass him a real refreshing ice cream. Oh, I'm sorry. My teeth. 
Oh, you get the whole I can, I can try to, I can try to eat it without a tattoo. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's oh, nice. And just lets a big scoop of ice cream fall in his mouth. Hi, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, incredible. So you get to the crypto place. Uh, it is, it looks like it is currently closed. It, it's got, uh, it's dark so you can't really tell what's going on outside. Uh, it has a big sign and it looks like about four coins in they gave up replacing it. And so it's a big banner that they started crossing out and spray painting. Uh, and it clearly, it, it currently says like, Illyria the Dodge. Uh, <laughs> It definitely sounds like a coin you've heard of, but it's not exactly that coin. It's new, we promise. But this time, definitely for sure. Mm-hmm. Dodge D-O-G-E. That's what yes. I want to say. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking it like used to be a Dodge dealership. Oh, no. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, God. yeah, but they just crossed out the D. Yeah. <laughs> they just crossed, they just, it was literally like just the D is crossed out. Yeah, it's got like, Barely, it is the same energy as a used car salesman. Got it. Just like, sure. n- not even just Your metaphorically, like, literally, you can just feel it sort of in the air. Uh, you can see there's a, an image of like the two founders uh, in the window. Like, like they kind of have like realtor places. Yeah. Um, and uh, it. Salino and Barnes. Style. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, and there's one of them is. Uh, Long, long red hair, that thumbs up. Uh, it says, uh, Tony uh, knows what's going on all the time, ever. This is the guy you want to go to. Uh, and then there's a picture of the other guy who's, who's got, like slicked back hair and he's pointing himself. Uh, and it just says, Rad. Mm. <laughs> That's it. That's all the credibility you need. <laughs> Tammy, I think Brad. we might want to put our money in. in Into. This- into, into, a, into a really a dodge. Yeah, a really a doggy. Yeah, yeah a really a doggy. <laughs> no, I, I think that's so right. I think it's good for our future. And also, are you looking at this sign? I mean, it says that he knows what's going on everywhere at, at all at once. Tony all looks the time. like a very trustworthy guy. Tony, yeah. 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 Okay. Should we stop him or do we just kind of let it unfold? Now yeah, we're all willing, won't they? Energy, and I want to see how it plays out. Yeah, you know what? It's saying? willed it. They will. <laughs> they will. Hey, oh, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. They will. Let them throw their money away. Okay. I just worry a little bit about Tammy because we do get paid like twelve dollars an hour at the funeral parlor, and it's Tammy a, puts all Jeffy. of her money into what? Oh, skin, don't, in front of Skeeter. Look, I'm trying to be quiet, but you guys just have perfect hearing or something. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. It's so loud. Um, <laughs> but. Oh, you know, oh, no, then you're good. <laughs> you're good. Uh, yeah, so, you, so the, you see the crypto place, it looks closed. Uh, you've got probably, at this point, given your trip across Main, ta- or Main Street, probably like five hours to midnight. Mm. Um, that's how much works. Yes. yes. Uh, and so you can either stake out here, you can try to break into the place, you can look around for someone who might know, who might know more information. Just start sh- shouting for Tony and Brad. Yes, Tony. Tony! Brad! 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 Brad. Hey, is Brad here? Brad, Brad. Brad, you in there? Did Brad order some bees? <laughs> God, that's a big jar. <laughs> uh, as you're shouting, it takes like a good like five minutes of just... And, and everyone is... There's people who like sort of watched you roll up. And everyone is just in the back. Just kind of looking at you. No one has gotten close. Uh, and so you see... After about five minutes, someone like creaks the door open to the, the place, and you see uh, hair in complete disarray. Uh, and, and this is Brad who shows up. Hair no longer slipped back in his face. Uh, he's like, "Hi, are you guys <clears throat> are you guys interested in uh, in in buying some coin, uh, some some cryptocurrency? Yes. We're great! Wow, that was really decisive." I love yes, that. Like, and yes, and yes, and yes. so yes, yes. Oh, yes first. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, and, and then oh, we have another ask. Oh, we're also yeah. here for a more specific reason. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I, I don't really care, so I'll get you set up. How are your teeth? You still got them all? Can you <laughs> give me a wisdom check? <laughs> oh, that's two. Two. <laughs> uh, yes, teeth are fine. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no worries. Uh, <laughs> does anyone else want to give me a Yes. Yeah, more than that. 21. <laughs> 21. <laughs> uh, yeah, you look closely and you can see that although at first glance his teeth look like really nice and perfect, um, it's clear he's gotten like, a very extensive veneer job. Mm. Um, so none of these are his real, real teeth. Yeah, the creature doesn't like that. Which are like natural. Yeah. Yeah. natural. Oh, so we're I'm hearing that he has natural protection. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. Yes, that's right. That's right. Now, Tony. No, Brad. I'm sorry. Brad. Where's Tony? <laughs> he stepped out. Where? Okay, I'm gonna need to. Can I like roll some sort of like insight on that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Give me a wisdom check. A wisdom check? Yeah. Eleven? Eleven? I, he seems like he doesn't know where, where Brad is, where, where, where Tony is. Okay, he's stuck out. Mm. Okay. Well, Brad, how much? How many doggies can I buy from with this? And I, I put down the twelve dollars I earned today and a piece of gum. Today. <laughs> Skeeter adds just a bag of coins in front of that. What kind of coins? A uh, variety. <laughs> oh, great. Are you uh, rich? <laughs> you bet. Oh my god. <laughs> the chimney sweeping business is good. Booming. It's booming. It's booming. booming. This town? Dirty yeah. ass chimneys. Yeah. yeah. Dirty chimney. They're yeah. too busy looking at their pools. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. When you spot a market opportunity. Uh, yeah, so uh, Brad like starts counting through the coins. He's like, $12 good. Uh, the coins, uh, I mean, not good. Coinstar is not what it used to be. It's just uh-huh. devalued a little bit. But you're gum. the coin guy. The, the gum, the gum though. That's that's gonna be really. Yeah, fun it's all. I mean, it's a, it's a variety that doesn't isn't sold anymore. Twelve years ago. <laughs> Tammy knows gum. Yeah. Great. Uh, perfect. Cool. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, today. It looks like five. Yes, from five. 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 You take three. I take two. Doggy. Yes. Okay. I will take that. Doggy coins. Three doggy coins. Not um, you can just add them into the bag. I'll keep the bag. You put the doggy coins in the bag. You keep the coins. So, so it's uh, it's kind of ethereal. You know, it's sort of in the. So it's a ghost coin. Or? No, it's real. <laughs> okay. It's free. It's real. Oh, it's real. Yes. Just, well, how so can we put it in the bag? No, no, it's, it's, it's up here. It's just also. It's in your know. chimney? I can go in your chimney. It's, it's, it's like he shows like the, the, uh, the wallet of like Illyria Dodge coins. Oh, I don't it's have in a phone. Here. Oh. Well, I'll keep it for you in here. Well, how am I going to access my two doggy coins? So here's here's the. the she like pulls out like a sheet, like clear like a pamphlet. To explain for someone oh, how to access their wallet, yeah. uh, and it's like been crossed out and rewritten a bunch of times, like photocopied over. He's like, "This will explain everything." Um, great. Okay. Are you guys interested in coins too? And they made it very. You should get in on this. Yeah, that was all too complicated. For yeah, me. it was like yeah. a little too much paperwork. Yeah. You know, um, I like my coins in real life. They I are, used they to are be real. That way. They are real. Oh, okay. They are. They are real. Okay. Yeah, like, so we give you basically money, and then you take our money, and then put and it... And you tell us we have coins. No. Right. No, but real, then you kind of just took money away, and then no, you just... No, they're real coins. They're definitely real coins. I promise. Anyway, how have people's okay. teeth been around here? Who <laughs> weird question to ask a coin place. <laughs> Listen, we know about the creature. <laughs> no? You we know about no, the creature. No, there's no creature here. Listen, we know. We know about the creature. Okay, so you better fess up. What do you know? Tell us, because we're trying to we're trying to figure out what's going on. Mm. Uh, can you give me what is uh? Give me a charisma check. Ooh, critical <laughs> failure. <laughs> uh, Brad says, um, I don't know anything. That's my job. I stand here and I don't know anything. <laughs> Tony right. knows all the things, Tony. and he'll be back, and he can he can tell you the things. Where is Tammy, Tony? Show him the Tony. Uh, Tony stepped out. <laughs> no, but where did Tony step sure. out to? Somewhere. 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 What kind of where? It's fine. Look, He's totally fine. Everything is okay. I just sort of pick up the jar of bees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is Tony, Brad? <laughs> Give me Crusoe with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
21. <laughs> uh, it's like, oh my god, okay. I was just his roommate in college. I did not sign up for this. He just said some easy money, come out, hometown. Um, huh. Why would you, what is your, what is your deal? These are my friends. That does not answer my question. Do you think it does? No, I just so want you to know. It. Um, so, so Tony said that this was going to be easy money for you. It just, you know. The crypto thing. Okay, so what about the cryptid the thing? The line just goes up. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there's the crypto thing and then there's the cryptid thing. We're sort of, they're here about the crypto thing. We're all sort of here about the cryptid thing. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that too. Our crypto past is behind us. We're, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. on your page now. Yeah, we're all aware, aware, but uh, people have been losing teeth in the town and it's getting pretty serious. And you got yourself a pretty nice pair of chompers there. Yeah. Be ashamed. Mm -hmm. So what have you done? <laughs> Every time it's a new threat, they're all different and equally created. But I just want you know, my nerves. Oh yeah, we got forceps, ice cream, and bees. And this, and I take out my sandal and show the toe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not the toe. <laughs> Dead fate. Dead fate. Uh, <laughs> it can tell the weather. So... Can I just tell you everything? You're gonna want to let us. Oh yeah, yeah. You're gonna want to just leave. I don't know. pretend this never happened, and I will never come back to this town. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. You want some ice cream? Oh, we have special sprinkles. Did you get rum raisin? That's I'm so gonna, specific. We're gonna put <laughs> and it, the teeth look like raisins. <laughs> oh, these are the brown oh, teeth. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Those are the brown yeah. ones. Those are good. Yeah. Uh, A little extra flavor. Here, let's see. He notices the teeth. Oh, he does not notice the teeth. <laughs> just like. So crunchier than it's new. Those raisins are extra dry. That's I I put a bee in there. I'm <laughs> 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 just trying to like quietly just yeah. like, put a bee in there. It's in the ice. Cream. It's cold. <laughs> okay, so tell us everything you know. So I don't know if you noticed. Business not easy money. Not great. None of this has been easy or good. Um. Tony, because he's the ideal guy, he said, it's fine, he knows a guy, he knows someone, and just, just give him a few teeth, and he grants a few wishes, and I thought, I said, Tony, that's, that's fucking insane, right? That's the tooth fairy right there. Oh, and he said, no, 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 it's totally fine, except he didn't have any teeth, so fake teeth, because apparently he'd done this before, and for some reason I thought, Yes, that seems like a fine idea, because all his ideas have been great so far, and I'm bad at noticing things. Because Tony, he's the one who knows the things. Uh, so all I know, went to sleep, woke up, missing a few teeth, and suddenly business was okay, and I didn't ask questions. But that kept happening, that kept happening until there's no more teeth! There's no more teeth! There was no more teeth. Um, Tony showed up one day, covered in dirt, covered in dirt, and said he'd solve the tooth issue. And I was like, great, I ain't got no more teeth, and business is starting to go down again, so sounds good to you. I don't know what he did. I just know Tony, one day, shows up in his motorcycle, shows up shiny teeth, shiny motorcycle, everything good. I'm in the back. It's a late night, trying to get business booming again. Um, I hear an unholy screaming. Come out, teeth on the ground, motorcycle gone, no Tony. Um, and then real living people who weren't me and Tony started missing their teeth. Wait, so how long has Tony been missing? He does the math back on like how many days people have been missing their teeth. And he's like, well, three or four. Um, I didn't really know what to do because, again, Tony, ideas guy, he's usually got good ideas, really solid ideas, you know, believe in the man. Um, so I was just kind of waiting and hoping he would come back and tell me what to do, but I think I should go now. Yeah, super solid ideas, like selling teeth for wishes. Yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> for sure. He's just outside the box, man, right? It's like, it's a new age. You gotta think outside the box. Yeah, it's outside really the right. system. Lateral, yeah. Um, Here's the thing, Brad, you're gonna be sticking around till midnight with us. You're part of this. No? Yes. 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 See this? Yeah. Here's the yeah. thing. Yes. 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 <laughs> You're just sort of sticking around. 
Yeah. Now let's put them in the coffin. <gasps> Good idea. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we don't need it as a boat right now. That's yeah. perfect. Okay, get in there. And I'm just gonna put one B in there with it. And then some ice cream <laughs> to try to be nice. <laughs> and shut him in the coffin. Uh, just just on the strength of like how much intimidation you've been giving. He's just like. Why would you do this? Well, you know, we just need you around the bees just for fun. <laughs> you just hear, like, every three or four minutes, like, one faint controlled scream. Okay. Sort of like a like a fire alarm that the battery's low on. <laughs> like, he's not panicking. The chirpies him up. That's right, Brad. Think about what you've done. Think about what you've done. He'll tune it out eventually. Yeah. Uh, now, you guys, should we explore the... I wonder if the motorcycle's still outside. You know, with the, the scene of the crime. Could be. Right? Right. Maybe those some... Something. Yeah, some clues? Yeah, absolutely. Poke oh, around for clues. Good idea. Clues. Maybe check up in an attic. Or we could set a trap. Yeah. Oh, traps. Oh, that's we got this big. We got this big jar of teeth. I know he and, and Brad had those real nice set of chompers. Mm. We could borrow them. Yeah, oh, that's we could yeah. borrow them. Yeah. This store doesn't have any furniture. Okay, really? can I just, I'm gonna knock on. Hey Brad, can I have those teeth real quick? Uh, he's like, they're, they're, yeah, um, will you let me out? I'll no. later, darling. We'll take the bee Eventually. out. Eventually. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take the bee out and the teeth. <laughs> you like crack the coffin a little bit and you just like feel like the unclicking sound and two like denture uh, teeth. <laughs> Thank you. Take the bee. Yes. We can like leave little breadcrumbs with the loose teeth and then we got these in the. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, you know, like, <laughs> I like that. Yeah, like a little yeah. trail leading to the we'll veneers. Yeah. With it. yeah. <laughs> no. Breadcrumbs. But then. Yeah. Right. Breadcrumbs to this? Bread, What's at bread the end? Control. These yeah. are at the end? Yeah. Oh, you yeah, ever seen that movie? The Parent like... Trap! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, not The Parent Trap. I was talking about Home Alone. Oh, yeah. It's one of those situations. Home Alone. Yeah. Yeah. Home Alone. Yeah. 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 What were you talking about? Easy. Can I put these you put down? The little pieces and they oh, right. You've got forceps. You could just okay. kind of. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, so we just need a trail of little teeth leading up to the big teeth. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So what happens when it reaches the fake teeth? <laughs> we get the coffin. Well, we have to take Brad out of the coffin, and then we take the coffin and prop it up on a stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just can't. And we tie a big string to that string. stick. I like that. Uh, you know, and then we just. We have all these extension cords. Me and my half. We do have a lot of extension cords. Yes. Yes. Used to catch rabbits like that. Oh, it's all coming okay. together. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. 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 We can also like Brad. burn the doorknob and do some other funny <laughs> stuff. Oh, oh yeah. God. Okay. We got a cord. What? Yeah. It's just funny. We have your cooking. I have my cooking cord. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait. Okay. So we set elaborate movies traps yeah. all over the crypto building. Pie in the face of the creatures. Okay. Yeah. With little teeth leading up and then we put like buckets of water and like little and ice. on the floor. Yeah, yeah like a gun. And like a yeah, gun. <laughs> that's yeah. it. Okay, yeah. Skeeter, that's a prank. Far. Marbles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah marble, not a gun, maybe marbles. Okay, 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 okay. You can put a gun. I'll put a gun? Okay, okay. Oh, okay. well. Wow. Are you guys hungry? Oh yeah. Should we order a pizza? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And you're getting yeah. plenty of Yeah, just like, sure. I wonder oh, how many doggy okay. coins. Oh, I think, how many doggy oh, coins for, oh. hey, Brad, how many doggy coins for a pizza? Uh, Price is variable depending on the market, but yeah. right now it's about 10. 10? We don't have enough doggy coins for that. Brad, what's your credit card number? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to ask we're going to need that. There's just like a miserable sounding sigh, and then he reads you out the number. <laughs> three, four, three, three. Thank you so much, Brad. Um, what kind of pizza do you want? <laughs> pineapple. Thank you. Sick okay, get anything but pineapple, please. <laughs> not even Hawaii. Just, just pineapple. pineapple. <laughs> itself. That's sociopathic yeah. behavior. Uh, okay. uh, should we call Bob and ask what Bob wants? No, Bob killed a lot of people for their tea. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Bob's the monster? Bob, Bob's, Bob's the, the monster? Why? Oh, no, Bob, oh, Bob. Bob made a deal with the devil. Oh, yeah, you're Pretty right, sure. right. Okay. Oh, Tony made a deal with the... Wait. Right, well, Bob is... Yeah, maybe we should Wait. call Bob. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm, talking, I'm not talking about Bob. We I'm should call Bob, Bob and ask Bob. We should, we, should, we should invite Tom, Bob yeah, to the pizza party. That's fair, that's fair. I can text Bob, what kind of pizza do you want? <laughs> Yeah, and do you have a gun? And do you have a gun? Where? No. Delete. Where's the gun? Where's the gun? <laughs> right. right. Uh, you can see, like, when you send through the pizza tweet, uh, the pizza text, uh, nothing happens. He, like, he sees it, but it's unread. And we see me ask about the gun. It's like, uh, 
He says, check, check the coffin. Grandma Davis wanted to be buried with her favorite shotgun. Oh no, it's in there with Brad. Oh, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> hey, Brad. <laughs> we got a large pineapple pizza on the way if you want to just come out and we can talk. <laughs> Out of like a, a large shotgun being caught. Oh, Brad, 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 Brad. I will buy ten more doggy coins if you just come out. Yeah, well, you customers. Is that how you treat your customers? Yeah. We'll give you your teeth back. Is is the coffin unlocked? No, it's locked. No, the coffin's locked. <laughs> it's definitely locked. You just need like banging on the top. Brad. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Should we just leave the gun? I think we just have to leave. I don't, yeah. Maybe maybe the gun doesn't need to be a part of the plan. <laughs> yeah. Jeffrey is Googling how long it takes someone to suffocate in a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, We've got like six hours, so we're pretty well, much He's, he's really good. starting to suffocate right. there. He can just make himself some air holes. He's got the No, he's got, got the gun. gun. The coffin's not airtight. It's just the six feet yeah. of dirt that usually makes it difficult oh, to breathe. So we need oh, to bury him. We need to bury him. <laughs> so you, you guys have got like maybe two hours, an hour and a half left on this trap. Oh, no okay. time to bury him. Uh, okay. Well, we gotta use it for the trap anyway, so wait, maybe- Wait, wait, wait. I wanna try something. Okay. okay. Everybody take a, take a step back from the coffin. Okay. Hey Brad, I am leaning over the coffin. I'm leaning over it, I'm right on top of it. Okay, it doesn't seem like he's gonna try and shoot us. Oh, that's good. Okay. Just trying to. Uh, we could, we could let him out. I'm scared. scared. I just don't know if we need a gun that much. Meaningful silence. Well, no, but we do need the coffin for the trap. I'm like less concerned about the gun. The gun is sort of just a bonus, but like the the, the coffin is really like the point. Right. Yeah, that's gonna. So unless we just can we find like is there like a cardboard box lying around or something? We can just leave Brad in the coffin. <laughs> We need a box. It doesn't need to be the uh, box. There's definitely cardboard boxes. You're not sure if there's cardboard boxes that are like refrigerator sized. Well, you know. I guess we don't know how big this thing is. We don't. Yeah. So we kind of do need the coffin. Okay, maybe that's like a last minute sort of like deal with that on the fly. Is your thing? cart like a big freezer? Well, it is a. It's got you know the little holes for the ice cream mm. and uh, but maybe one of these ice cream containers is big enough. Oh yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, we don't know how large the creature is, but um. It could be just like a piano cartoon situation, um, right? Where we just drop it, right? Like instead right. of like trying to capture it, we well, just. Well, then we could just drop Brad on it. So cool! <laughs> oh, and then if Brad so escapes, he's just gonna start shooting. And then he'll take care of the monster. And then we'll just shoot the monster. We'll just be yeah. outside. Yeah. Brad will fight the monster. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It'll be great. So yeah. instead of like the box and the stick trap, we do like an elaborate like, pulley system. Yeah. With the power cord. With the That's electric. Right. We still have the electric, right. So we put the, and then we get the, and then we do a little. <laughs> and then we get, and, and then we, and then we cut the, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. We are the stage hands, and Brad and the creature are our actors. Oh, Absolutely. and what a beautiful show the it's gonna be. I love the theater. Oh. I'm not in the theater. We should go to the theater sometime. Yeah, I would love to I'm free. You know what? That's nice. Right there, really. Me too. Yeah, but not during monsoon together. season. Oh, yeah. It Brad, I got some good news for you, babe. You're gonna be a star. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how to parse that? Are you gonna let me out? No. <laughs> Sorta. No. Later. Later. At a real specific time. <laughs> um, so we set up our trap. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. We booby trap the house. Like there are like the crypto <laughs> yeah. thing. We get like little uh, little like Legos to okay. the, for the creature to step oh, yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. What's what's a good um what's booby traps for like Home Alone booby traps for the house? <laughs> That's such insane. <laughs> or classic pranks. Well, we'll be There we go. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. We put a little stump out so that they can snack on some teeth, and we put some like a whoopee cushion on the stump. Oh yeah. 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 Tony, Tony, and Brad definitely have whoopee cushions. Oh yeah. For sure. Yeah. 
Yeah. We have like a bucket of honey and some feathers with a fan. Yes, <laughs> like, perfect. Oh, we can set up the jar of bees on a door or something. So when the door moves, the bees. Ooh, the bees. That's a great <laughs> idea. Yeah. Yes. So it's such a good. We and then we can release the honey and then put the release the bees. Oh, it's getting dark. Okay. <laughs> and then we have a gun. Well, the gun. Brad's got it. Brad's got it. We and don't have Brad's a gun anymore. Yeah. But oh, we've got Brad. You know. We have Brad. But also, we, we drop Brad on the monster. Brad will probably come out shooting at the monster. That's no. the yeah, idea. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah. Wait, that was the plan the whole that's, time. That's the yeah. plan. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so do, is there rope around, maybe? There's extension cords. Extension cords, of yeah, course. Yeah. Extension cords. Yeah, I started to tie some extension cords to the coffin and try to yeah, hoist it up somehow. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. On a chandelier or something, a light fixture. And then maybe maybe should we uh, take the extension cord like out the window maybe just so we're not with so we're not inside with the bees and stains yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 it's all a little yeah there's like a for foyer sure. area you could you could definitely set that up there okay great cool. cool. I take like a wheel off the ice cream truck to make a little pulley for the <laughs> nice <laughs> you know what I mean like attach it to the very clever all right so coffin suspended above foyer uh, teeth whoopee cushion below trail that. of teeth yeah. trail of teeth feeding in. Uh, there's bees above the door, as well as honey and feathers, so it's sort of like a big cacophonous dumping. Yeah, correct. <laughs> it is, in fact, a cacophonous dumping, yes. Yeah. It's gonna, yeah. I'm just gonna, like, pass out, like, some chef knife. Somebody's got the grater, somebody's got a mandolin. Oh, yeah. And Can we have the immersion blender? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. We'll just use another extension cord. Oh, yeah, I gotta plug it in. We got, yeah. like, 40. <laughs> it's attached to the extension cords with the coffin, Perfect. and also, yeah. like, plugged into this. I attach some of the knives to extension cords for like nunchuck vibes. Oh, there you go. Oh, wow. Very good. I don't know how. Classic. Like, I don't know how to use these, but. Yeah. <laughs> but they're they're certainly. Cool. Yeah, Look, theatrical. Yeah. You know? As we all know, with nunchuck knife improvised weaponry, enthusiasm is really where it counts. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> when it comes to knife chucks, it's <laughs> all <laughs> Right, right. Enthusiasm, style, safety. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Safety's barely. <laughs> All right. So you guys are are you guys you're kind of off to the side, holding this rope steady. Anything else? Well, so how do we keep it from just like sidestepping the trail of teeth for our fresh teeth? Mm, yeah, I, I, that's why I'm sort of a fan of not being in the room mm. with the bees and the guy with the gun and, and the creature, I feel yeah. like we should let them all fight yeah, okay. and then like be peering through the window and then go in in case we need to. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because then also okay. our teeth are safe. Great. Now the question is, do we tell Bob the plan? Idea. We call Bob. We tell him that there's going to be pizza around like 11.58 on that stump. And then that way we don't have to outrun the creature. We just have to outrun, <laughs> outrun Bob. Bob. <laughs> so the whoopee cushion's for Bob. Correct. Great. Classic. Great. And then Bob is for the creature. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, yes. right. Right, right, right. Yeah, exactly. So I think this is a foolproof plan. But we will get the pizza. Like, we will get the pizza that Bob wants. Yeah. It'll be nice. Like, he'll have, like, his final moments will be very sweet. <laughs> yeah. And then there's just a coffin ready for him right there. Perfect. All right. right. And then will Brad die? See, I've been getting Bob and Brad mixed up. Brad's going to be going down in this coffin. Mm -hmm. Kaboom. Would you think he'll die from that? It's sort of out of our hands. Yeah. Kind of it's about 50-50. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's kind okay. of a, it's probably like a roll of the dice situation. Yeah. yeah. At least we'll have two warriors against the creature. Yeah. Better than us, for sure. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Okay. Great. That's the plan. Great. You, you order good? Bob's favorite pizza, put it on the stump. Yeah. You order meat lovers, a couple cheese, some veggie, that sort of thing. Um, <laughs> Are any of you guys celiac? No, but I do want a grinder. I'm not, I'm not getting right. it on pizza. Uh, pizza place does not have that. They do pizza. It's a small town pizza place. You're lucky they do delivery. It's fair. Mm. <laughs> oh, we have the delivery boy, too. Oh, you know what? Hey, could you deliver a pizza at about 11.57 p.m.? Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming in half a slice. There you go. Okay, so first we want you to deliver the first three pizzas at the door of the crypto place, and then we want you to deliver the one meat lovers and one pineapple pizza on the stump. Mm -hmm. And then you hang out by the stump, and you can have any of the meat lovers and pineapple you want. And there's ice cream. There's ice cream that's also going to be on the stump. Have fun. Nothing bad will happen to you. Why'd you put that last part? Well, I just wanted to tell him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so, so your plan is to have Bob show up first, then the pizza? No, no, no. The pizza shows up at 11.57. Bob shows up at 11.58. Krypton shows up at midnight. <laughs> and we're all outside holding the extension. Correct. Great. And okay. pizza. <laughs> and, and having pizza. <laughs> Double fisting. So you, you give a call to Bob. Bob is... Definitely was not going to show up. Definitely was going to sack. But the fact that you guys have identified the problem and have a plan, and it's it's a plan, <laughs> means that it has given them the, like just the amount of confidence to think he needs to show up and take credit for whatever's about to happen. Oh, <laughs> I hope he dies. You're about to die. He's like, don't don't do anything without me. Uh, a team that works together takes credit together. We're gonna get. It's gonna be great. Uh, oh, wouldn't dream of it. So, so Bob's on his way. the star of the show. <laughs> You're gonna be a star, Bob. <laughs> uh, you get the sense that the person who took the, the delivery order uh, did not super care about the health and wellness of the delivery driver. So, as far as you know, Keats is on the way. Uh, <laughs> it's a different guy relating to this. <laughs> I would also, just because, so, I don't know about the, the trail of tea, where are we starting that? Like, should we also put up signs maybe that say, like, delicious tea? Uh, oh, that's the a good idea. Yeah. Do you but, think like, the creature can read? It's a good question. I mean, he can make deals. Right. He can make barters and trades. Well, that's true. Right? He can yeah, make okay. crypto okay. successful for, a little yeah. bit, for like 48 hours. It can he's, make crypto got, really successful. he's got some language. There's so we're like laying space. down, making signs, like kicking our feet. I think that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sidewalk chalk, a Just bunch like, of like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a, right a, right down, a bunch like, of like, a little arrow and there's like text that says a bunch of des uh, desperate people need wishes fulfilled. Yes. It's mm -hmm. like the same yeah. 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 Like yeah. signs like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Horrifying. All right, so you set out all of your free teeth this way signs. Correct. Um, the pizza this is not a trap. <laughs> the pizza delivery person shows up, sees all of these, um, and quite respectfully takes all the pizzas and leaves them at the top of the trail, but does not go inside. Where are you going? I like, oh. go around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! I wanted to share a pizza with friends. Where are you going? I'm a pizza delivery driver. I got I got other pizzas in the back, you and know? And I'm a hot, sexy single. Amen. <laughs> single. Okay. Oh, this is gonna get good. Uh, he's like, sounds like you're not quite so sure of that. I deliver the pizzas, I don't get involved. Oh, hey, do you like ice cream? I do like ice cream. Well, I got plenty of ice cream inside. Why don't you take a load off and have a a, a cone? Give me a charisma check with disadvantage. You need to make at least a seventeen. <laughs> That's a nat one. He like chucks the pizza. <laughs> um, give me a dexterity check. Uh oh. Uh, fifteen. Yeah, you catch the pizzas. As you're catching them, he he, he takes off them. He's, he's his, gone. His loss. Uh, as you're saying, they're holding the pizzas. Uh, Bob shows up. It's like, hey, team, how's it going? Crew pals. Bob, just in time. I need you to take okay. these pizzas inside. We'll meet you in there. Yep. In I'm gonna like shove it in Bob's arms. Oh. So we can't like look down and see the trail of teeth. We're just gonna like, like oh. okay, um, is this like victory pizzas? Victory yes, pizzas. Right. So we already did it, we already took care of it. Yeah, we oh, already did. Wow, well, right. everything is there's still... I need to call the mayor then. I should call him. Don't call the mayor. The mayor's asleep. We'll just, yeah. it's we've really got really some up. evidence to clean up before you call the There's some dangerous stuff out here. The faster you can get in there and stay in, we gotta tie the danger out here. Did we deactivate the the booby traps? Certainly not. Okay. He's probably oh, here oh. an almighty farting noise followed by <laughs> the sound of glass breaking and just I can see the feathers coming out of the shop and just just screaming. You just you can see Bob with the pizza box, feathers trailing, running in a circle. I lock the door. I'm sorry, Bob. <laughs> I put I'm one bee in there and <laughs> And, and he has set off Brad inside the coffin, so you got Bob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the coffin hasn't fallen, because we got there. We got there. Okay, good, good. He's got the coffin still there. That's a relief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, as, as this is happening, uh, you can hear the bells of Main Street toll in the distance. Twelve sonorous sounds, uh, and uh, there's immediately kind of a sense of like a pall in the air. Just the air gets a little bit thicker, and it almost feels like the monsoons. The same way that you know a monsoon's coming, you know that something is here. Um, and she told you. <laughs> yeah, it's. <laughs> Hold vibrating. on. It's vibrating. <laughs> a couple more hours. Did it just speak? <laughs> yeah. <it did. laughs> we'll talk about that later. Is it sentient? <laughs> it whispered. Hold on. Oh no. Oh, no. It's like, Hold on. Oh, I mean, look. Well, people can make deals with all sorts of body parts. Is what we're learning today. Oh so my god. Who knows? Uh, so you hear. Uh, a, a scraping sound of like metal on concrete, wow. and and what you're kind of you can see it reflected in the shop windows. What crawls into being is what was once Tony, and and it looks like it is now all of the wishes that he has made and traded teeth for coming back, rebounding upon him. It, it sounds like you remember that it seems like he was stealing teeth from the graveyard, and you think what has happened is he reneged on a promise to this tooth fairy. He made a deal, and he gave bad teeth. Mm. And so all of, he's been declared a fraud. So all the things he's gained are starting to slowly become untrue. So his fancy motorcycle, and, and all this is evident on his body as well. So he's now, like, the fancy motorcycle, the fancy teeth, the, the perfect hair. It's all started to unravel around and inside of him. Oh, that's cool. And, and you're like, well, and this also explains why he's looking for teeth. It's hard to tell if he's just screwed, or maybe if he gets enough fresh teeth, the, teeth, the tooth fairy is gonna, is gonna forgive him. Um, either way, he is a, a nightmare that cannot be allowed to exist upon this world anymore. Um, and and you see, he's, he's sort of crawling up. He's he, he's walking is not the word. Um, He's moving into the shop and, and sort of like picking up the teeth very carefully one at a time. Um, his fingers are like, one of them is sort of a, an average human hand and the other is like the spokes of a motorcycle. Ooh, he's just sort of like... Fun. Is he covered in chocolate? Gets... I just remembered he was <laughs> yeah, he's me. Oh no, he had some ice cream on the way. Does he look like yeah. that? Delicious? Oh my god, it was our doing. Uh, it looks like... Uh, that at some point Tony would wished for the Choco Taco to come back, mm. and that's really backfired on me too. Totally. I can understand that. But yeah, I mean, like, yeah. who wouldn't trade back. a front molar? Literally, yeah. Uh, so he, he's grabbing his teeth and he's, he slowly opens the door, and you can, you can hear the automotive parts kind of crinkling in the feathers and the honey, uh, and and you hear Bob let out. An enormous, even louder than previous shriek. Uh, and you see Bob, pizza box, coffin, whatever Tony is now. Uh, you can see Tony walk in to the teeth in Bob's mouth. Just, is Bob underneath the coffin though? Uh, Bob is sort of backing up. So he's, so he's Bob was formerly in the front of the store okay. trying to get out, and now he's backing backwards so that the he's going to be underneath the coffin very soon. And uh, Tony, Tooth Fairy Tony is now. Uh, Tooth Tony. <laughs> Tooth Tony. Toothy Tony. Toothy Tony. Toothy Tony. Toothy Tony is now uh, crawling, moving, ambulating toward the cop. Well, as soon as got time right, he gets yeah. underneath yeah. there, Cowabunga. Wow. <laughs> cowabunga, baby. <maybe. laughs> Incredible. You, uh, you wait for the perfect moment. Uh, there is one final and you release the extension cord. The coffin slams down. Uh, Brad comes out firing. Uh, he managed to hit Tony directly in the chest. Uh, yes. <laughs> and we all actually yell. Yes, yes. come on! Oh, in the window, yeah. He looks so confused, but also like, this is the first moment in his entire life he's done something that matters, ever. Yeah, hit it again, Brad. Just like, hurry, hurry. Yeah. 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 That's his best friend. We should probably get a pineapple pizza for him. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, Bob is like cowering against the wall. Uh, he, he's just covered in, in bees and honey and feathers, just holding the beeps and shrieking as uh, Brad just annihilates Tony. He's already just trapped underneath his coffin. <laughs> Um, and as he's doing this, so the, the coffin dropping has tore out the ceiling, the stray shotgun blasts are destroying the rest of the building, and as, like, the last bit of their ill-gotten wishes is destroyed, you can sort of see whatever, like, dark pact has been animating Tony, uh, sort of dissipates, and there's nothing left to have been wished for, and so he, he is no more. That there's, there's scattered teeth and toenail parts and just, what... Suggestions of a thing that was once a person, but it, Tony's gone, uh, and and there's just a stillness that has turned to the air, and that sense of like impending monsoon doom is now just the monsoon coming soon. Viking wedding or Viking funeral? <laughs> Viking wedding. Um, should, we, should we send them into the waves, maybe? Well, that's a good idea. Oh, I can light it on bread? fire. We should light them on fire. I don't any. Yes, light them on fire. Send them into the flaming coffin. <laughs> All into of them? the monsoon. Is anyone Brad dead? Alive. Brad's alive. I think just. Oh, Brad's alive. I think He's just on top Tony's of the coffin. Like. Yay! <laughs> Brad, we got a pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Just put the gun down. I'm gonna give him his dentures back. You did awesome. He can't quite figure out to hold on to his dentures and the gun at the same time. So he's kind of like, drops the gun, puts the dentures in, and is like, don't want my teeth. Then give me the pizza. Okay. And I can leave. Take the gun. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I, I don't know what you want to do about Do I need to shoot him too? I'll shoot him too. I'll shoot him. I'll do no, what I need to do. You, no, you did enough. It looks, it looks weird. That's all I'm you saying. You already did enough. You did a great job. Are you talking about okay. Is that is that a person? Oh, oh no, no, no. The creature? No, no the Bob, creature. That's oh, the thing with yeah. feathers and bees. Oh, oh yes, yes. That's Bob. Like that's little, Bob's Bob. Mm. Don't that's our coworker. Um, we home slash alone boss. with him. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we sort of just did some pranks. We had like some extra time. Just <laughs> <laughs> like sort of looks at the pizza and like, oh. prank. Okay. <laughs> One bee flies out from the pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> you did it though, Brad. You defeated the You're monster. You're the hero, Brad. You're the hero. You are the star of the show. That's horrible. But yeah, yeah, I did it. Brad can do things. I can do things. Yeah, I know how to do things. Yeah. Do things. And you should just take that confidence forward into a new career. <laughs> that's that's true, you know? Um, yeah. I've heard audiobooks are really doing well now. You can do like Amazon audiobooks. Oh, absolutely. That's true. Absolutely. And you can do those remotely. You, yeah. you've, been, you've been talking about leaving town. Now well, might be the time to leave You can just get an AI to read it for you. Yes. So it's using new technology. Okay. Yeah, you can just cut out the middleman entirely. Okay. Brad, I think you should turn over a new leaf. Maybe less Stop tech. Stop trying to make easy money, you know? Go straight. Leave the computers behind. <laughs> okay, yep. I am hearing you guys loud and clear. Have you tried wheat farming? No. I got a cousin in Austin. We can set you up with some. It's like, nice. I used to work. So, so yeah, that, Bob's, or Brad says yes. That sounds... Great. Let's. Give him his, I'm gonna give him Austin's cell phone. He takes Austin's number, the pizza, and just like he bounces. Uh, and as he's doing this, Bob comes up and he's like, "Well, uh, why was that?" We got you. We, we hold a little totally jump. Got you. We took care of the monster, and then we just did a little silly little prank. We're just a little prank. <laughs> yeah. But look, the monster's dead. What are we gonna tell the mayor? Oh, I think we burned this whole building down. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I got a tour. Yeah. I think we just kind of let it all fade out. You know, like, it'll people will forget about it. The news cycle goes real quick these days. Mm -hmm. yep. Just kind of um, let it come out in the wash, you know? I'm not even going to wait. I'm going to start torching things. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, with the flambe? Or... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a human. It's, it's a large flambe. This is an industrial yeah. flambe torch. Yeah, you pretty much... This is a building built on cardboard and false dreams, so it goes up in flames pretty pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, so you guys watch this building uh, enveloped in flames. Any evidence of misdeeds, past or present, uh, are consumed or consumed by the ashes. Uh, you got the pizzas. 
um, as you're standing there watching it, it finally begins to rain. Um, and not a gentle rain. This is the monsoons arrived. You, know, you go from dry, corrupt, you know, <laughs> uh, conquering heroes to soak to the bone in 10 seconds. Is the coffin still intact? Uh, no, the coffin was splintered into Damn, a Damn, we don't have a boat uh, anymore. <laughs> we can sit on we can, top of Yeah, Titanic part. style. Oh, yeah, we like, sort of like, okay, we take, we tear right. a door from the uh, yeah. front yes, of absolutely. the- Yes, As is <laughs> beginning to be engulfed in play, you're able to like grab- Float on the door. Yeah, Skeeter's just hanging on partially as Tammy takes up way too much <laughs> I imagine um, that the cart has like one of those umbrellas on it, so we can just sit under the umbrella together. <laughs> yeah, we're just... sitting under the umbrella while they're having their jacket rose at the end of Titanic <laughs> yeah. moment. <laughs> yeah, and, and as we're floating away, uh, my toe, it says, congratulations. <laughs> I say, thank you. <laughs> and with that, our heroes have triumphed. Thank you guys for sitting by the table. Appreciate it. Uh,